Hi, I'm Lou, and today I'm going to show you how to build an oxypropane potato gun. Here's the major parts we'll need. A propane tank, an oxygen tank, two torch heads that look like this in the package, a garden hose washer, some Teflon tape for pipes, electrical tape. In here we have a 3 8 street elbow, two of them, a 3 8 3 8 half T, a short little piece of half inch copper pipe, a half inch sweat in to thread in adapter, and then a one way valve. This is brass, half inch and half inch. Over here we have a half inch T, a half inch elbow, three nipples to hold them all together, and then adapters. So this is a half inch to three quarter adapter, a three quarter to one and a quarter, and then a one and a quarter to two inch adapter, and then an 18 inch long two inch steel pipe. And if you want to, you can get a two inch to one and a quarter adapter just like this one down to a one and a quarter inch pipe. If you want to shoot smaller potatoes, you can do with this. In addition, you need one half inch street elbow and some stiff copper wire and then some JB weld to hold it in there, hold those wires in there and then finally a grill igniter. Bend your torch heads straight like this. Next sweat in the 3 8 elbows on either side of the T and then sweat in the torch heads right into the elbows. To sweat or solder pipes together first take some solder paste or flux and put it on your pipes ideally both inside and out if you can reach it and stick them together light your torch and heat up the joint as soon as it's hot you will to touch the edges and the solder just flows right in. Do this all the way around. For screw-in pipes you want to use Teflon tape or ideally the yellow Teflon tape which is used for gas. And you wrap that around your threads three or four times and screw it into the next piece and that Teflon tape forms a better seal. Torch heads are all standard right-hand threads and so is a propane tank. Unfortunately, oxygen tanks are left-hand threads. So what I'm going to do is use a ratchet and unscrew this nipple out of the inside so I have more access. And I'm going to grind spots out of the threads all the way around and then force this in backwards. Remember, it twists in backwards. You'll most likely find that this leaks a bit. If it does, just put a garden hose washer in there and tighten it back down. This street elbow is essentially going to be our spark plug. So what you want to do is put some caulking or construction adhesive in there to kind of hold it in place and then reserve the last half inch or so in the top for a cap of JB Weld. I actually JB welded both ends. Uh, once that dries, go ahead and strip ends off your copper wire both ends and kind of fork these two together to make an arc point. Temporarily hook up your grill igniter and make sure you're getting a good spark. Often there's a little lip on the inside of the two inch pipe. You want to grind that off so that the potato comes out more cleanly. Screw your spark plug into these other pieces like this. Make sure you're tightening this all down with a wrench. Then screw these other pieces together from here all the way through the barrel. Tighten those down. Make sure you're using this yellow tape to do that. Take this piece and screw it onto this part first, again with the yellow tape. And then lastly, screw the barrel in down here. When you're done, it should look like this. And then take the grill igniter, set it right in here. 
tape it in place, and then connect these wires to the spark plug. And there are air ports on the side of your torch head. You need to tape those over with electrical tape. And we are ready to go. You want to use headphones because it is loud. You want to take a potato, shove it in the end. Push it down as far as your hand will reach. Turn on both gases for maybe five or ten seconds and let it fill up. Then aim at your target and fire. Since this gun mixes oxygen with propane instead of air, it's a lot more powerful. The trick is to get the oxygen and propane mixed in the right ratio for the biggest bang. Please do this project at your own risk. As we all know, potatoes can be very deadly when shot out of a gun with explosive gases. Thanks for watching and good luck with your oxypropane gun.